everybody. This is Purge, bringing you guys Game 3 of the Gamecom Plantronics Dota 2 EU Tournament. We're in the Losers Bracket Finals right now. And this is Game 3. Make or break it for Ursus, Stroit, Ram, and Orox. If you guys want to know a little bit about the tournament, go check out Gamecon, oops, Gamecom.Plantronics.com. You guys can check out their Dota 2 branded headsets and check out the tournament. The prize pool, first place, 2,000 euros. Second place is 1,000 euros. And third place is 500 euros. All of these teams are guaranteed at least third place, so they're going home with some money here. Um, if they win, they get an extra 500 euros, and they can have a chance to play in the finals against Rocks and see if they can take the 2k euros. Huge amount of money on the line. Um, there's also some additional open bracket prizing for some Gamecom Commander headsets. The fourth place also gets the 780 uh, Gamecom headsets. Fantastic headsets. They come with that Dota 2 Battle Fury cosmetic. It is sweet. I have two of them. I love it. No Battle Fury is better. I don't even have to farm it. I just like get it at the start of the game. Like, why would you not want that? Okay. Game three here. Let's see how things change up a bit. Um, Oryx seemed really, really strong in game one. Much better than Ursa Stroit Hram. Um, and game two, it did not look that... It looked way different, honestly. The supports spent a lot of time messing around with the enemy, with one enemy support. It was really weird. They took big advantage, and they kind of gave a lot of kills to the, uh, the Lone Druid. So maybe they're going to go back to picking pretty normal. Look, they did grab a Chaos Knight again. The Wisp ended up going under Ursus Droid Ram's um, control, but they've got the Chaos Knight. This is their tried and true carry. They've got a Caudal on top of that and a Bane. So kind of interesting lane setup, but th that could be the tri lane right off the bat. It's a little greedy sometimes to, to pick your tri lane this fast, especially when nobody's going to draft a Bane. I, I, I thought for sure I was on four times speed or something they're picking so fast, but apparently not. I think the Bane pick is a mistake this early. They should save it until second round because at least there's there's got to be at least one, a mid hero or a carry or something that, that is going to get banned second round that they would want. Like, look at that. They could grab Magnus. They could grab Darkseer, and they grabbed Bane. I, I'm a little surprised. Now, um, in their defense, Bane is actually really good against Lone Druid, in my opinion. If he maxes out Brain Sap with one Nightmare and then gets Enfeeble, he actually counters the bear quite nicely. If you can put the minus damage on the bear, then um, it, he actually can't push towers very hard. I played against that one game as a Lone Druid where I went, I think, Mjolnir build, which is generally not worth it because the extra attack speed is not is not as beneficial as the damage. But he enfeebled my bear, and my bear actually didn't do any damage as a result. It was only hitting for like 40, and it became quite the issue when we were trying to push towers because enfeeble is very easy to keep up on the bear. So Ten perhaps this is why they drafted the Bane so early. I am not completely sure, but Five we're into the second round of banning eight. now. Um, Sven has been banned as well, another carry that we almost never see. A little surprised that uh, the Dire team ended up banning it, but... That is what's happening. Uh, two more bands to go, and this is the point in the draft where the teams take forever, despite flying through the first round, and they will ban out a co-op. Um, there's actually no mid-heroes drafted yet, unless we see a Bane mid. Tiny is going to be banned as well. Don't want to see a Tiny Wisp combo, apparently. That's a good combo. And it will be a Puck pick out of Ursus Stroit Ram. That will be their mid-hero. Wow, really? Timber Saw? Okay. So they're like, alright guys, we're 1-1. We might be eliminated. Timber saw, cool. That's really fun to see. Um, that might, I'm guessing this can be their long lane hero. Assuming. Um, Timber saw has been drafted a couple times in the pro scene. I know Aosin plus four has drafted them once or twice. Uh, maybe some others. Not completely sure. One more pick from Ursa Stroit Prom. Now before we get into the game, and they're looking for a possible hard carry. They have a long lane, they have a Shadow Demon Wisp, and they probably need a melee carry of some sort. Um, Wisp does combo quite well with the Lone Druid Bear as well, so they don't necessarily have to do a melee hard carry, but I assume that would be the best. Is Gyro in the pool? Gyro is... Not there. Uh, so they could pick him. I, I think Gyro is the way to go, honestly. I think Gyro is the best Chaos Knight counter in the game, by far. Uh, just about everything he can do is fantastic. Great against a lot of the enemy heroes as well. What I would probably do is start a missile off at the start of the fight on Bane or Timbersaw. And they go for a Dragon Knight instead. Alright, they go for a melee, melee Dragon Knight. Uh, Dragon Knight's pretty good as well. Nature's Prophet, the last pick. The Dire team is lacking Disables a little bit. Uh, but we'll see how their draft goes. I, is that a Timbersaw mid? Tony Montana was playing their mid heroes. Uh, played Magnus for them every single game. Maybe they'll swap things up a bit. Put somebody else in the mid lane. But um, I'm, I'm really not sure. We'll see. But it's going to be a Dragon Knight... A Wisp, Shadow Demon, Tri Lane, pretty good. Puck mid and a Lone Druid long lane. And we did see them use the Lone Druid long lane pretty effectively in the previous game as well. Lone Druid, fantastic hero. If he gets kills, uh, it can be it can be really hard to deal with. Really tanky, and the Bear is, is always going to be useful at all points in the game. So, all right. So waiting for the game to get started here. 
will be loading on and we can take a look at where they're laning. I'm really interested to see where the timber saw ends up. It's just like one little goblin guy and a giant robot. Against all these like supernatural, super powered people. Five seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. We'll see if there's a pause. Maybe a pause at the start. Yeah, we're waiting for the puck. Yep. Puck is apparently AFK. So we'll use the power of replays to speed this up. My favorite thing to do at 8 times speed is look at the models and see if they do anything. Like, look at his eyes. Bane is freaking out. Nature's Prophet's beard is just like shaking. Keeper of the Light is just like kind of looking around. Lone Druid. His eyebrows, men. And Shadow Demon just like checking the eyes like, hey. Hey guys. What's up? Wisp? Nothing. Dragonite? A little bit of a nervous tick. Let's look at, I think Shadow Demon's is the best one. How does he move his skull face? How do you do that, guys? All right, game is resumed. We're back in. All right, let's take a look at the players here. Uh, Seam of the Slayer is going to be playing the Cast Knight. Dubas the Slayer is going to be playing uh, Keeper of the Light. Tony Montana is playing Timbersaw. Tossy is on the Bane. We've got CA on the Nature's Prophet. It might be doing an aggressive tri lane with a... Timbersaw looks like he has long lane items. I would be really surprised if he went mid with this, honestly. Uh... It does look like he's going mid. We'll talk about that build in a bit as we go, after we go after the Dire team. Make Me Feel is going to be playing the Dragonite. We've got Yo on the Shadow Demon. Whoever this is on Io the Wisp. Uh, and Light's playing Pocket on the long lane. We've got a long lane Lone Druid played by Dota Stock. Um, i first like to point out that this reminds me way too much of Soul Calibur. This is like straight up Soul Calibur sword. What is that called? Like Nightmare or something? I don't remember what his name is. It's like really over the top armor. It's like all over the place, man. All right, let's talk about some item builds quick. Uh, a lot of clarity is on Keeper. That's fine. Um, this guy's playing support. He has a lot of regen, actually. Is it pooled or something? Why does he have so much? There's a lot of regen here. Um, and uh, Cast Knight's going typical build. Stout Shield. They are aggressively trying to lane. Timber Saw is mid. And then on their safe lane, they're doing a Nature's Prophet. I, I would actually prefer... Well... Is Timber Saw viable against the Lone Druid is the question, and I don't really know if he is, to be honest. Um, I would probably rather put a Prophet mid, I think. I just don't think Timber Saw is viable, that viable mid. He is going to be able to get a lot of experience, but he could do that on the safe lane, is, is my idea. Um, so I'm not quite sure if this, is, if this is viable. Plus, there's no trees. I don't know if you guys noticed, zero trees on the middle of the map, which means that he's not going to be able to use Whirling Death to do more damage, and he's not going to be able to Timber Chain to any trees. So at this point, Puck is probably like, why is there a Timber Saw in the mid lane? And he's also gotten a lot of extra Tangos, which is great and all, but there's, the trees are really far from the mid lane, so that means that his um, his source of regen is going to be semi-delayed, and he's actually trying really hard to push this. He will do some damage to Puck, and that's going to reduce his damage output as well. So Is that only if there's trees around? I think this is reducing his, his int, which is why he's not hitting quite as hard as he could. There's actually a regen top, which was scattered up by the Radiant, so he was just kind of spamming this so that he could get the, the advantage. That's going to give him about 400 mana, or 400 HP here, so. Uh, Dragonite's actually going to be pretty hard to kill. He has picked up his stun at level 1, pretty standard stuff, and Wisp and Shadow Demon are looking to stack and pull. The ward is blocking this, though, and this is why you can't put the sentry here. Um, I don't know if they went looking for it or not. They'll find out when they try to stack it, but... I don't think the sentry can catch this ward. If the sentry was here, it could. But they are now pulling this over. And the Bane is going to try to mess this up, but he's not going to be able to do that. I'm going to keep an eye on the mid lane again, again for a bit. Tony Montana still right-clicking this, this uh, puck quite a bit. He's actually doing a good job getting last hits, I must say. Radiant team's farming really, really well right now. Uh, Nature's Prophet will have trouble pretty soon here. Once the bear hits level... Uh, level 2 or level 3, he's going to have trouble with this. Um, but he's getting good last hits at the moment. 8 last hits, he's got a Ring of Basilius picked up. He's actually turned this on, which is arguably a mistake, because it's going to push the lane away. But the the Lone Druid should be out last hitting him. Period. So, first pull is successful, the Mud Golems are gone, and now there's going to be nothing respawning, and they will find this out in a bit. Oh, Tether comes through, one stun on the Bane, he's in a lot of trouble, a lot of spirit damage actually. I think he got two sets of spirits, Breath of Fire as well, and I think this is going to be a dead Bane. Great disruption to buy him a second, but oh, Shadow Demon's going to go down first, and first blood does end up going to the Raiding Team, send Nature's Prophet TP's in, they want another kill. He does not have a Sprout, though all he has is a couple right clicks, they need anything, but they need another disable. Where's the nuke? Oh, can they get it? Yeah, the Blast is going to score him. Great kill there. Nature's Prophet showing up, he did get some gold and some EXP out of that. Uh, was it worth it? Probably, for him to come. 
Uh, but he's going to have to TP back to the bot lane, so this is going to cost him at least a bit. And Dragonite's just going to kind of hang out next to him. He's like, hey, Dragonite. Ooh, he needs to get out. Ooh, the Spirit's case on him. Ooh, does get the snot of Nature's Prophet's actually going to die here. What are you doing? Kill him. What are you doing? Kill him. Okay, thank you. Kill him. Thank you. Nature's Prophet was... Uh, why did the Dragonite run away? I have no idea. But he was trapped immediately, and that's a, that's an easy kill. Illuminate's going to do a lot, actually. This could provide some more kills. He pops one tango. He's got a magic stick as well. This game is weird, man. Puck's going to use an orb through. He really wants to get this. Timber Chain's not going to latch. He could have gotten that slight mistake from the Puck there. He could have gotten the Illusion Rune. Or the Invis, sorry. And Timber Saw is maxed out the Chain and the Whirling Death. No levels of reactive armor yet. He's got 10 last hits. And he stole the bottle from Puck. So that's going to hurt. That's going to set Puck back. He's going to have to bottle core this. No flying courier just yet, by the way. So on the safe lane, Nature's Prophet now level 4. Lone Druid sitting at the same. A little bit more EXP though. About to hit level 5 on him. He will continue the harass on the bear, I assume. Gotta do that bear damage, man. Bear's gonna level up. Now he's gotta worry about Entangle. This is where things get really scary for Nature's Prophet. Using some more Whirling Death. That's actually... You know what? This is actually pretty good on the mid lane, I must say. It's very, very low mana. If you use it on your opponents, you reduce his base damage, which is very useful. You can hypothetically rush to... Okay, that was pretty cool. But Puck is going to be able to control the rune, no matter what. He does not actually have the bottle, but he can pop the regen. I like how he's running right a little bit because he knows that the, the Timber Saw was missing. I like that. That was very smart. He knew that the Timber Saw was invisible, so he grabbed the regen and ran right so that the regen would hit full. And then he also phase shifted as soon as he came back because he was expecting a nuke. That was a very smart play by the Puck. Although I must say, Timbersaw is actually looking a little bit better than I thought he would be on the mid lane. I mean, it's very low mana to cast Whirling Death. It reduces your opponent's stats. You can get last hits with it. Um, you're kind of tanky with a Stout Shield. He doesn't really need a bottle that bad, I guess. But was all the extra regen worth it? I'm not quite sure. And maybe grabbing one level of reactive armor would be worth it. Because every time you take a hit... Oh god, there's fights happening. I'll talk about this later. Wisp is being chased. Caudal Blast is actually going to whiff everybody here. Gets one last hit with it. But I think Wisp is going to die. That's an one second stun. Will it be enough? One more right click and they've got him and they do actually get him. There's a TP with Nature's Prophet as well. Four heroes top. They're actually kind of surrounded here. Is Dragonite going to go fight this? Puck is walking in. Kind of playing weird. He's going to orb on out though. Bottling back up. He can continue to fight. Reality Rift's going to buy him some more time. They need to stun somebody. It's going to be a Chaos Knight. Good choice here. And Puck in a second is going to get some kills. He's got Orb in two seconds. Any second here. Nope. Oh my god, he gets killed. Nature's Prophet's going to go down to creeps. I thought for sure he was going to be able to grab at least the Chaos Knight, but they're all so fast. The stun comes through here. Oh, what would have been, you know been sick is if the... Uh, we don't need to talk about that. It's okay. Kahlo gets killed. That was sick. I just said that. That would have been sick. Timbersaw picking up level 6 now. He's got the Chakram picked up. On the, you know, they do have a Nature's Prophet. Maybe they're planning to... to Mix them together somehow? I'm not quite sure. Lone Druid doing what he does best, which is take towers when nobody's around. Uh, does he have phase yet? No, he does not. But he does have boots on himself and his bear. We see a bunch of Treon spawn, so this should be able to hold things off by quite a bit. DD picked up for Timbersaw now. And some Observer Wards in the jungle. No boots just yet for Dragon. I think this may be a mistake. I would love to see him pick up some boots. I mean, there... You could argue that he had some kill potential before on some of those other heroes, but he didn't have boots, so... And wow, Chaos Knight's really far ahead in terms of farm. GPM looking really good on Chaos Knight, Nature's Prophet. Back on the mid lane, Timbersaw still hasn't picked up reactive armor, but I guess he doesn't care that much. We'll see if he spins on this. He's actually going to maybe go for the kill. He has a DD. It does a lot of damage. He does snag it. Nice play there. Man, his dive potential is actually quite good on the mid lane. I mean, as soon as you get your timber chain maxed out, look at the range on this. This is ridiculously huge. Holy crap. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Wow. Like, if you go high ground like that, I guess the Puck needed to stay middle of the road. That way he could not get timber chained. It does quite a bit of pure damage, and Puck's HP is actually pretty low. With a DD as well, it does a lot of damage. So, uh, nice play by him. Tony Montana playing the hero in a way that we don't see very often. He's relatively tanky though, he's a strength hero, so kind of hard for Puck to kill, I suppose. There's lots of escape as well, can always timber chain if he's middle of the river. And top tower does go down, four heroes help out with that one, Nature's Prophet was also there. 
See if he goes back to the bot lane. Bot tower is now being pressured again. Lundru doing what he does best. He does have phase as well, so his right click is actually pretty good. He keeps de-aggering and then re-aggering the tower because he wants to try to kill it, but looks like Prophet's going to get there just in time. Puck now level 6, no boots, or no treads just yet. And another ward being put down mid to cover him. They will shift to the top lane. Wisp has very, very little, so this is going to be pretty scary for him. Lone Drew, the only really good gold per minute. They're actually going to initiate. It's going to be on a Shadow Demon. Can they do this, though? Three levels of Shadow Poison. Great Nightmare, actually. Perfect timing. Puck ulti as well. Puck looking for the silence. Orb's going to hit on two. He's going to be able to silence finally. And Cast Knight should be able to kill the Shadow Demon. He does, actually. But not before he goes down. Puck's got to survive here. Phase shift this. Phase shift nothing. Timber saw showing up. This is really scary now for the Dire team. And yeah, he is able to pick up all the kills. Man, Timber saw ganks in the early game like this is just so dangerous. He does a lot of pure damage. It's going to eat right through the Dragonite as well. He's a great counter for Dragonite because Dragonite has so much armor. He just damage right through it. I don't think any of this goes through um, Magic Immunity though. So I guess Timbersaw is probably pretty countered by, by Magic Immunity. Bane's going to get teleported back. He does have a level in Feeble, by the way. Going to be very useful versus the bear. The bear did get the tower, I assume. Was it denied? I do not see. But the tower has been killed regardless. Most likely he's going to go Armlet again. Uh, we did see him pick up Armlet last game. It's going to be a regen bot. He will snag that up. And I'm guessing they're going to turn this into a fight mid. Um, there's a lot of trees there, so Timbersaw can make some action happen at least. <laughs> he really wanted that kill. Creep said something about his sister. I wonder what items he's going to What's this item? Arcane boots? Okay. That was a little scary. So he's got full mana now. His HP is not that good. His survivability is not that good either. So Timbersaw's got to be careful. His damage potential is pretty good though. Is he going back to base? I guess he's going back to base. Not quite sure why. Spirits are flying around here. Puck is going for treads, and the Illuminate swings on through. They want to snag somebody if they can. Cast Knight's level 6, so he can definitely get some good reach in. Or maybe the Shadow Poison is just going to kill everybody. We'll see. Nature's Prophet's thinking about jumping in. Timbersaw actually taking a lot of damage from Tower. Him going back to base was not very worth it, that's for sure. Radiance top tower is under attack. Creep wave will be nuked a bit, and the timber chains as well. It's got to bottle this one up. There's an illusion rune top. Will they go for it before they push? We've got a lot of treants up. I love how the shadow demon is maxing poison this game. Absolutely necessary to stop these pushes. And the radiant team can't make anything happen. In the meantime, they're making a lot of space for lone druid. He's in the jungle. He's got the recipe as well as the uh, helm. A short 700 gold, and he will have the armlet finish. And this is going to make a lot of difference. In this fight, this game is is still actually pretty close. Let's look at the total graph stuff. 2,000 gold advantage here for the Radiant team, and the EXP is looking to be pretty back and forward. Really is not that different. Level 7 for Cast Knight now. We'll see if he does the Brift build. I hope he doesn't. Good. Especially without a Wisp now. It's not worth it. Level 8 on Timbersaw. He will pick up level 9. Again, doing some harass on the, the uh, Puck. Nice last hitting from Enlight. Not anywhere close to a Blink, unless this is a Blink. This is not a Blink. This is a Bottle Crow. Bottle Frog, sorry. Wisp is doing some farming here. He actually, ooh, oh god. Is he going to die? Oh god. He almost died. Kind of close. It's Dragonite level 8. Great item build. Um, he's actually not died too many times, despite having the tough lane. He is going drum first. I like this choice. Um, the extra edgy is great for this hero. Uh, the movement speed is fantastic as well, and uh, he really needs the int, because you do need to cast a lot. Where is he TPing to? Ooh! Almost gets stopped. Chaos Knight was... He almost shut that down. Really need to throw a stun, not attack. I don't know why he just TP'd back to base. Was he, do you think he was getting ganked? I guess he thought he was getting ganked. Otherwise, that was not worth it at all. He was pretty much full HP and full mana. Losing a lot of time from that one. Um, but there are some heroes mid. Timbersaw is also still here. Has not been able to level a reactive armor just yet. Midwave is slowed down a bit, and uh, we see the heroes show up again. Oh, they're going on a gank. It's going on bot. Coddle, can you survive? 
They have vision, so even if he tries to TP, I just don't know if he's going to be able to. Uh. 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 Okay, they got him. They got him, guys. Guys, he's dead. Alright. Treants, trying to commit to the tower. Lone Druid, do you have your armlet? I bet you have your armlet. Yep, armlet, soul ring. Okay. He's all set. Will they engage mid? Um, we still have Chaos Knight. Ooh, he's got a drum. This is pretty scary. He's going to rift in. Going for the Wisp. Great tether. Good reaction time. Prophet sitting on a Midas as well as Boots, so their farm is actually pretty solid. He's got 1,300 gold on top of that, I think. Or 1,100. Pretty excellent. And will they eat the blast is the question. At least Creep Soul, that's for sure. Ooh, that was close. I think Puck almost got hit. We just have to be really careful with that. Oh, I love his positioning. This is really cool. Popsy Invis to be able to initiate from the bot. He does need to heal, though. In the meantime, Dragonite takes Snow. This tower is way gone. Chaos Knight destroys the tower. And now they're looking to push. Is everybody here? They need to fight. Puck gets initiated on. He's going to be able to silence, though. Maybe should have ulted that. I don't know. They could be fighting this. Wisp gets picked off, though. Timbersaw able to take the kill. Three kills on him now. And the Lone Druid is coming, but he's a little bit late. They could have initiated on that CK if they are in position. There's the Fiend's grip on Puck. Will he get his ulti off? He gets stunned for two seconds. He's not going to be able to. He does get picked off. Lone Druid doing everything he can. Shadow Demon as well, running for his life. The Brain Sap's going to buy him a second. But Dragonite does not have his ulti. He wasted it when he fought the Keeper. Or he killed the ki Keeper of the Light. There's the Puck ulti. He does buy back from this one. And there's one Tether breaking. I think they'll get the... Yeah, they do get the Bane. Shadow Poison going to latch on Timbersaw. They do have vision of this. Can they stun him? Not going to be able to. And they're just going to go kill the Cottle. So a little EXP in gold for Io. <laughs> you would hit an old man. That's funny. Timbersaw finally getting his passive. Um, the main reason that he probably delayed this is because damage is probably more important. I mean, he, he did get enough rune control. He had a stout shield, so any harass that Puck put on him was not that bad. So I think it's okay. Um, it's probably more of a preference. Doing his best to slow down the push here. And Timbersaw will defend this. Most of his trees are long gone. He's actually almost taking some bear damage here. Nice to Sable. They put down the uh, spinner as well. And actually, this is not looking too good for the raiding team. They lose the Nature's Prophet to start things off. Great Illuminate. Will they chase more? Here comes the Timber Chain. Oh, he actually whiffs it. Trees are all gone. He thought there were some, but he couldn't see it. There's another reality rift. One ulti as well on the Chaos Knight. This is exactly what they need. He should split off. At least throws a stun. Nightmare as well to protect some of the damage, but he does still get killed by the Fire Breath. Great fight from the Dire team so far. Can they also kill the Timber? There's another stun. Puck ulti. If he comes, breaks it. He's going to take the tether damage, and he's killed. Four dead heroes. Great blast from Cottle. Gets a double kill. Ultra kill from Cottle. What is happening in this game? Arcane boots on him? I don't like this choice, but whatever. And Bear shows up as well, and Timber wants a kill. He's going to get it, I think. Great stun's going to buy him a second. Does get killed from the Prophet. Chakram as well going on the ground. He's getting out of there. Trying to do some damage, but the armlet Bear hits really hard. Oh, the entangle. This could be it. Again, he's able to get away so fast. Timber is out. Fiend's grip as well, and the Lone Druid. And Lone Druid goes down. What a crazy fight. 18 to 14. If they would have just disengaged after getting that kill and, you know, dodged that Coddle Blast, that would have been fine. But damn, that Coddle Blast was insane. Looks like Nature's Prophet's going to go for the ever annoying Shadow Blade build. He's going to let them TP right on top of him. I guess they're, they're saving the silence. Right, that's the silence. He's dead. Nice little gank there. Prophet did not work very hard to escape from that one. And he does go down. No purchases for him either. Uh, that's going to be a mech for Keeper of the Light, by the way. He's got more than enough mana this game. Arcane Boots is arguably a waste. I think Treads or Tranquils is the way to go. Um, if you're going mech, I think Treads usually, but... Does anyone else have Arcanes? I mean, the Timber Saw has Arcanes. The Bane is probably going to get Arcanes. I think him getting Arcanes is maybe a, maybe a waste. So he goes back to base. Can he heal up? Two levels of reactive armor now. Dragon Knight sitting at level 10, almost level 11. We've seen any stacks. Uh, no stacking, actually, for him, so we won't see any uh, gold acceleration later. 
Coddle actually leading the charge. Dubas the Slayer, appropriate title. And the Dire Heroes are grouping up to defend once again. Lone Druid needs to be there though. He has no new items since the armlet, 200 gold. I would love to see like a, a magic stick or something on him at least. That would be useful. Tower gets crushed again, almost an armlet on Chaos Knight, much more delayed than it was in previous games, but here comes the Caudal Blast. The bear will eat it happily. He actually has good spell resistance, 33%. This is better than a hero, so. Timbersaw preparing to fight. Will he buy his Vitality Booster now? I would love to see it purchased. Ooh, Genko and Bot on Nature's Prophet. Will they do it again? It's going to be Puck. They put the ulti down, he needs to orb through, but he actually is on cooldown a little bit. There he comes through, here comes the silence, and that should be a dead prophet. Mech's gonna keep him alive a bit, but the chains come through. Can they turn around? Timbersaw's trying, Nature's Prophet gets out just in time. Ooh, nobody dies. Really, really close, though. I don't quite... Should they be ganking with Puck? I guess that's okay, honestly. It's not a bad choice. Dragonite is ideally is a lot better because he has a stun, but... It was a great sprout from Nature's Prophet and awesome defense from Timbersaw as well. Got there just in time, and there's the Enfeeble. Look at this damage. 90 damage reduction. He literally does 50 damage right now. This bear does virtually nothing. And Feeble is so good against Lone Druid. Chakram killing a lot of trees. Three seconds stun on the Spirit Bear. And the raiding team is actually looking... I thought the Dire team was a lot closer than this, but this is not looking good for them. Tower goes down. Another Enfeeble on the bear, and it gets pulled back. A little Mana Drain on Lone Druid, but he doesn't really care about that. Vitality Booster is grabbed. It's very close to his Bloodstone. Pretty common Timber Saw item, as you do generally want a lot of mana regen. And Dragonaut is going to actually level up his ulti at level 11. He should be pushing really hard right now, I think. They don't even have a Wisp. Push, man. Push! If the enemy team is trying to take your tower and you're this close to a tier 1, you, gotta get it. you just got to take it, man. Fire Breath and stuff. We're going to see a Glyph and an Orb as well, but I don't think that's going to be enough to hold things off. Bane is moving in position for the Enfeeble, and there it is. Bear again is hitting for 50 damage. Mid tower is going to go down. Puck's going to ulti this actually. A little surprised about that. He's got to be careful. He's almost got his blink dagger. And uh, Dragonite does take the tower finally. A little delayed. He could be pushing towards the tier 2 at the moment. Chaos Knight's going to TP to the top lane. Can't solo kill the Dragonite. But ooh, TP's coming. He might be in trouble. He's TPing out. And he will make it. Just in time. Good choice. Nature's Prophet with Shadow Blade, no boots past that. Five deaths actually, he's died quite a few times. Had a, he had a pretty good start. Hasn't moved a whole lot since then. Now, what does the what does the Lone Druid do to counter the Enfeeble? He It's gonna be a rough game for him, honestly. He has to stack damage items, basically. Maybe he should do something like a basher or go for does he need an MKB? He doesn't really. It's it's gonna be a really tough game for Lone Druid, because Enfeeble does counter him so hard. Same same case is gonna go for the Dragonite, honestly. It's two physical damage carries, they don't have a whole lot of burst damage after that. So Enfeeble is just really gonna shut them down by quite a bit. Wisp purchasing a gem as well, tranquil boots on him. Three levels of tether. And the tower will be defended. How much gold do we have on Lone Druid? 1,300. Not that much, actually. I was expecting more. He could arguably also get a Maelstrom. Maelstrom gives about 25 damage, and it has some magic components. 25, 24 damage, 25 attack speed. You could get a Maelstrom as well. That's an option. Look at this wave, though. Wisp doing some spirit damage, or at least trying to, actually. There's the first Enfeeble. Lone Druid has some damage. Puck goes in. Silence on three, but takes so much. He needs Orb out. He does get out. Popping Bottle Shards as well. Dragonite's trying to fight this. He's getting him low, but he does get rifted a bit. Fiend's gripped as well. He's still disabled, but going to change targets. His damage is literally 20. Wisp is almost dead. Puck trying to do everything he can. He orbs out again. Gems on the ground, actually. And he gets left behind. Coddle snags it immediately. And still Dragonite doing nothing. And Feeble is hard countering them so much. Timbersaw should be able to escape from this one, but Lone Druid is chasing. Can we get an entangle? There's the drum usage. Got to get him closer. It's exactly what they needed, but he is fast, man. There's one slow. Blinding Light will buy him a second. Miss. Hit. Hit. Oh, nice gem kill. Super sick gem kill. Nice play from... Uh, that was really well played from Keeper. 
So Gem does not go back into the Dire Team's favor. 2,000 gold up on the bear now. And I think it's time for some damage. Don't know what. Shadow Demon going Bracer. Treads picked up on the Prophet to really up his uh, attack speed. Gives him some HP as well. And we have Wisp now. Ooh, he's ganking somewhere. He's going top, actually. Dragonite gets killed immediately. He needs to run. Oh my gosh, and he stuns. There's the Rift. And a Nightmare as well. And that is... Wow, good disruption. Going to buy him a second. He might actually survive. I thought he was so dead. One, zero. And he gets out. Would have been sick to see him uh, tether. If he would have tethered the uh, Shadow Demon, that would have been insane. Bear actually putting Cast Knight really low. But the Enfeeble comes again, and now Lone Druid's in trouble. Here's the bonus damage at least. Hitting for about 60 right now. Wisp is going to die. Man, Timbersaw really does do a lot of AoE damage. It's impressive. He's got his Bloodstone as well. Three charges out of that. Really, really helpful. Once you have a Bloodstone, you want to be for any you want to be there for any kill that you can. It helps a lot. Shadow Demon unfortunately has to farm the bot lane. Uh man, this guy really likes casting a shadow poison early. I think he could have gotten a lot more of those last hits. Puck level 12. He does have Blink Dagger. Nothing really past that. Timbersaw's mana region must be really, really good right now. He's going to find a DD as well. I'd like to see him maybe pick up some armor after this. I, he's going to be really hard to kill. This guy is uh, not going to go down easy with the level 4 reactive armor. KS Knight going for a BKB next. Good choice here. It'll stop Puck. It's going to stop Dragon Knight. It's going to stop... Mostly Puck. Comes another Blast. This is going to connect. Oh, this looks bad for Wisp. Does not actually get him. Looking for the Disable. Anything? Enfeeble? Alright, there's the Enfeeble. Maybe the Bear will die. We will see. Damage done to Wisp. Actually, they pull him back again. Looking for stun. Doesn't even matter. They just right-click him. Can they get anybody else? Rift in two seconds. There's a Sprout. No Sprout. Mistake from Nature's Prophet. He doesn't get it. See an Entangle and Keeper Light, but that doesn't do a whole lot. And actually, he goes high ground. This is way too aggressive on him. Stun as well, and that's going to be a dead Timber Saw. Way too aggressive here. His buyback or his cooldown will be quite slow. That was a waste. He had 10 seconds left on that one, I think. Right clicks on somebody who goes down. I don't know. Shadow Demon, BKB on the Dragonite. This is enough, actually. And they do actually kill the Chaos Knight. They're chasing, looking for more stuns. Who will they grab? Stun on the Nature's Prophet. More right clicks. They need an Enfeeble. Will he Enfeeble anything? What? Ditch? Uh, kind of. Kind of a ditch. I think he ditched his team a little bit there. He maybe could have gotten one more kill. He might have died for it, though. Yeah, attack. Oh, they're chasing. Look for a stun. Gone. He's Coddle? Alright, there's a Coddle. Coddle might be in trouble. No Enfeeble just yet. Blinding Light will buy him a second. And the Lone Druid may chase as well. Lone Druid still no new items. Did he buy back? Only buybacks on Timbersaw. Just not seen a lot of item progression out of the bear. He got the armlet at a reasonable time, but just nothing really new since then. I think... Is Basher the way to go? Basher would be pretty good in this case, I think. I think they kind of need utility. I mean, Dragon Knight's got BKB, so from here on out, he's going to get a damage item. I don't know what it'll be, but he'll grab a damage item. Lone Druid might want utility damage, I would say. Something like that. He could grab a Vlad's, maybe. Is that worth it? Probably not. Bane has maxed out Enfeeble now. Not a good time for the Dire team. Dyer's top tower has been denied. Okay, Snipe getting pretty close to the BKB as well. Look at the wards on the map. There's sentries everywhere. Look how much money they spent. Who's buying all these wards? I think this is all Wisp. I dare say he should spend this on, like, items. I mean, there's so much stuff up on the map. He only has a soul ring. I mean, this could be a bracer or something. Wisp is not a very tanky hero. I, I mean, if anything, it should be Shadow Demon spending the money. Shadow Demon should be the one buying all these wards. If Shadow Demon doesn't buy the wards, then Wisp is forever going to be the squishiest hero ever. And Cast Knight dives on him every time. I mean, he needs a Ghost Scepter, big time. He really does need a Ghost Scepter. Does Ghost Scepter stop the pure damage? I can't remember if it does or not. But regardless, he does need to stop Chaos Knight from killing him in three hits, like happens every fight. He does pick up Vlad's, actually, so Vlad's is a choice. This gives him a little bit of damage. Uh, what is this, 15%? So we're looking at 
10 damage that he gave the Spirit Bear. It's not that good. I, I think this is maybe the wrong choice. It does keep his team pretty survivable against Chaos Knight, at least. But I, I don't know. I, I just feel like he needs he needs a plus damage item on the Spirit Bear to counteract the Enfeeble completely. I mean, on the bright side, this doesn't scale. It's 120 damage for the rest of the game. So any damage he gets from here on out will be will be uh, counteracting the Enfeeble. It's only going to get better for Lone Druid, basically. Man, Keeper Light's so farmed. He's got a mech as well as a four staff. Net worth still really good for the Radiant team. He puts a sentry down. There are no heroes. Dire team is really grouped up. I don't know if they spotted that or not. Um, does this ward do much of anything? Let's check the vision on that. It actually does not. This is a pretty crap ward. Gonna find a bear. That bear just got stunned, man. Do you see that, guys? Trying to take the Roshan. Bear is getting ready. Looking for Enfeeble. Nothing yet. And Fizz. Yes, and they do cast it. So Bear now doing like 20 damage with Uplads. Uh, I guess they're going to engage on mid. Dragon not getting caught. He has to pop BKB. Looking for the stun. He does catch Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight might get bursted down, actually. But the grip is going to buy him some time. And Dragon Knight's taking so much damage. They need to back him up big time. Where's the mech? Is there a mech anywhere? I see nothing so far. Chaos Knight's fighting. He's really low. He does get picked off. Actually, Dragon Knight's still alive here. And now some disable. Nature's Prophet right clicking. He does get picked off. The pure damage is a little bit too much against the Dragon Knight when his BKB is down. Not over yet. Four stacks on him. And Shadow Demon gets killed. Bear still right clicking, but he still does no damage. Now being slept, and Puck has got to get out of here. Can he blink or anything? Ooh. And that is going to be a dead Puck. Great team fight by the Radiant team. Dire team was not set up properly. It's not safe for the Dragonite to farm here when the entire team is here and some of your supports are over here. Just not a good position for USH there. Dragonite really needed to be by his allies completely. Had to be there. Lone Druid burning all of his mana for a whole lot of nothing. And the push still is unable to go in. Timbersaw has more uh, Bloodstone charges now. He's level 16, so his ulti is maxed out. The pass damage is 180, so this does 360 pure damage every time he casts it. That's, that's really good damage, guys. And it does 100 damage per second, all pure. I gotta play Timbersaw more after watching this game. Looks really fun. See where everyone else ends up here. Dragonite still farming more items, 1300 gold. Hasn't grabbed a real damage item since then though, since his BKB. And he really needs to grab an MKB or something like that. He has to counteract the Enfeeble. Teamfight positioning is by far the most important thing though. I think I think a lot both teams are having some issues with that. EXP is in the rating team advantage. Gold is definitely in the dire teams. Our rating team, excuse me. Just armlet BKB for KS9. He's gonna cost it's gonna cost him a lot of HP to get this kill, actually. He's got a DD though. That's pretty scary. And that is gonna be under Roshan. Reaction time a little bit late for the Dio team. Ooh, they do have Frost Swarm though. It's pretty good. Dragon Tail not being maxed out. Preference choice here is opting for stats instead of the extra 0.75 second stun. But now that he has the free Scotty, he's actually gonna be pretty scary. I mean, I really do think they could fight this with the right heroes. Uh, Puck looks like he's going for either Aghanims or BKB. I'm not really sure which. Um, is Aghanims worth it? Maybe. Nobody ever gets that item right now. It increases the uh, coil duration and the break damage. Don't know if it's worth it. Um, the extra stats is not bad, though. But usually I would say a utility item like a sheep stick is, is going to be much better than an Aghanims. So, more push mid. Dire team grouping up to defend this. Can they stop it is the question. Chaos Knight's actually still farming, so I like how they're spreading out like this. They're saying, okay, we're not necessarily committing to a push. All of the Dire team is grouping up as five. They only get one creep of EXP, whereas the Radiant team can kind of spread out here and take a, a couple things. Actually, grab a D ward. Did they have a sentry up? They did actually have a sentry. Puck's going to do some damage. Backs on out. He's going to eat that blast. 375 damage. Ooh, Puck's got, or Wisp's got to be careful here. Ooh. He did not want to get caught by that. 
I would love to see... They need to overcharge the bears, what they need to do now. It's too late now. Dra it's like Drag... Uh, they could do Dragonite too, I guess. Where's Dragonite at? It's counter pushing bottom, 1500 gold. Bear again enfeebled. I, they could... I, I guess Dragonite's pretty good for the, the overpower. It's kind of hard to say. Really hard to push high ground with the Timber Saw, by the way. It's not easy at all. He picks up a Mystic Staff first. I, I guess he's going to maybe Shiva's Guard. Um, great choice for giving him insane mana region and never dying, but it's really hard to push high ground with Timber Saw because there's no trees, really. All right, they're going it. They're going on it. Taking the tower. They've got Glyph up. They could use Glyph. Haven't done it yet. There's the Glyph. Dragonite on his way, and they will fight as soon as the Glyph runs out, I'm guessing. First damage being done to Puck. He can't blink just yet. Actually, wow. We're going to see um, Chaos Knight die almost immediately. Or not die, I guess. Nothing quite yet. He did have Aegis, by the way. So even if he did die there, it wasn't that big of a loss. Dragonite at 2,000 gold. Probably saving for a buyback. He gets Hexed, actually. They're going in. Reality Rift, one stun. And this is going to be all of his HP before he even gets to BKB here. He's not even popping the BKB. He's just going to buy back. I think they do get the Chaos Knight, at least. But here comes his buyback. He'll be back in just a second. Going on the Timber Saw. Look at the AoE damage. is huge. All that pure damage cleaves on everybody. And the giant dragon is here. His wings are huge, but he hasn't killed anybody yet. There's the right clicks. Will he be able... His attack speed is so minuscule. One disruption as well in the Chaos Knight. Can they crit on himself is the question. Another stun. Fire Breath maybe, but he needs to get out of here. And that's going to be it for Dragonite. The pure damage is too much. Two deaths on him. Lone Druid running for his life as well. And the Radiant team is just winning the game. Lone Druid trying to survive. More pure damage. More pure damage. And Puck's going to survive just barely. Timbersaw thought he had that kill. So it looks like the Rex is finally going to go down for the Radiant Team or Rox. It is mu very much so looking like their game is going to be 1-2-1 one, to one here. Which means they would be put in the finals. And good game well played is called. So, the Dire Team USH is going to take home 500 euros. Orox is going to take home at least 1,000. They're going to rematch against Rox in the finals here for 1,000, or sorry, 2,000 euros. Huge prize pool for the Gamecom Plantronics Dota 2 EU tournament. They did a US one as well, or an NA one, excuse me. Casted those finals as well. And all the disconnects are coming, so that's the end of game three. That was the best of three for the losers bracket finals. Orox fights their way back up to the winner bracket finals, and they will try to take out Rox. The ganks are not done. Oh, damn. Shadow Demon Wisp gank, so good. It's a good ulti. Really good ulti. Timbersaw was an interesting, interesting choice. Um, I'll try this sometime. I'll, I'll try playing some Timbersaw maybe today sometime. What kind of fun? Dragonite going all in. Got this Dragonite. Ha! Kill all the illusions. Ulti. 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 Oh man. I think he could actually. He might be able to solo the Chaos Knight, honestly. Um, just has to ulti and uh, kill the illusions, and it's pretty much done. That's a lot of pure damage, man. Chakram actually scales quite well. Alright, cool. Hooray! Dota 2! Yeah, Dota 2! Yeah! Oh, that looks cool. We have to see the graph. Graph? There we go. The Chakram! Alright, cool. That's it uh, for Game 3, guys. I'll be back in just a second with the next set. This is going to be the Grand Finals, the conclusion of the Gamecom Plantronics Dota 2 tournament. Don't go anywhere.